Around Australia, coastal ecosystems are under threat. Between Cairns and Palm Cove, only Trinity Park Beach still retains some of its natural vegetation. Situated between the extensive mangroves of Moon River and the remnant vegetation of El Hill lies Half Moon Swamp. This site is under threat from weeds and human disturbance. Behind the site, a large development is proposed which will place further pressure on surrounding ecosystems. Despite this, Half Moon Swamp remains a valuable ecosystem. In the Melaleucas, there are numerous ant plants which host the Apollo jewel butterfly. Both ant plant and butterfly are listed as vulnerable. Restoring Half Moon Swamp will improve the local ecosystem and buffer surrounding remnant vegetation. Planting will filter nutrients and sediments entering the adjacent mangroves and eventually the Great Barrier Reef Lagoon. The first step for preparation is weed control and rubbish removal. General weeds will be hand pulled or sprayed with a non-residual registered herbicide. Invasive grasses will be slashed and sprayed. Roots will be kept in the ground for soil stability. Foliage will be layered as mulch and biomass for the detrivores. Dumped garden waste and rubbish will be removed. A recreational area under the Malalukas will include picnic tables and a meandering path with educational signs. Ecological furniture will be positioned to provide habitat. Barriers such as logs and rocks will be strategically placed to prevent vehicular access. Within the site, there are areas of differing conditions. On the western side, there is existing vegetation and natural regeneration occurring, while the eastern side has mature Malaluka trees but little other vegetation. A range of species will be planted, chosen for characteristics such as attracting dispersers, edge sealing and their suitability for varying conditions on site. Around the water edges, sedges and grasses will be planted. It is hoped that nearby established vegetation will provide a source of dispersers and seeds to enhance natural diversity. After planting, the area will be mulched to retain soil moisture, prevent weeds and reduce erosion. When we monitor the site, we will check for and control weeds. We will look for garbage, invasive fauna and erosion and replace any dead plants. Monitoring should occur nine times per year until the canopy closes, which will take around two years. After that, monitoring can be reduced to four times a year until the restoration has been successful. On the path to success, we will see recruitment of new plant species, an increasing diversity of fauna, more harmonious human use, and native plants outcompeting weeds. When the forest is self-sustaining, we will have complete success. Perhaps we will even see the return of the Apollo jewel butterfly.